Welcome viewers and subscribers. Welcome my friends and my family. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to come to you with an architecture video. I know from the past couple of months, I have been giving you a lot of engineering video. And the reason for that, I hope you understand that I'm an engineer by profession and my passion is with engineering. Architecture, yes, I dive in architecture from time to time. And from now on until the next three, four videos, I'm going to be giving you some architecture videos. So in today's video in particular, I'm going to come to you with a two bedroom, three floor apartment building that I have designed. I have been working on this building for a lot of part of six to seven months. I have been through a lot of trial and error, change, you know, make a lot of changes here and there. So I just decided that I'm going to present it to you and see what you think of it. All right. So if you're a first time viewer of the channel, ensure to hit the subscription button, hit the not notification bell. So whenever time I upload a video, you'll be first to see it. And if you're watching the video, Please, I'm asking you to watch the video until the end. And in the event that advertisement shows up, watch some of the ads as well. All right, stay tuned for this video. So this is the building, viewers and subscribers. This is the two bedroom, three floor apartment building that I'm going to be presenting to you. All right. So I'm going to start the presentation by indicating to you this entrance into the building. All right. So you're going to enter from this front porch here, right? You enter through this door and to the right of the entrance door is the half bathroom or a powder room. So you're going to enter into the kitchen slash dining area and to the left of the kitchen right dining area is the laundry and a pantry or a storage then you have the sitting slash entertainment area here with a sliding door that leads to the front of the building All right so to the left of the sitting area, there are two end suite bedrooms with, it, with their own bathroom and their own closets. And each end suite bedrooms is of a dimension of 14 feet by 14 feet. All right. So to the rear of the building here, you leave through this sliding door here and you enter onto the rear porch and you have a door here right and the reason i have put this door here is that the occupants upstairs can't get access to this rear porch here because this rear porch here is designated for the occupant of the ground floor all right, so that is why this door is here to prevent the occupants from the upper floor to access this rear porch because each occupant is going to have their own comfort area. All right, so this staircase here it takes you to the first floor. All right, so let me tell you how you can access the fir the first floor from the front of the building. So the occupants of the first and second floor, they're going to enter through this door here. And they're going to go up these stairs here, all right? And they're gonna enter through this door here. So this door here leads to the first floor coming from the ground floor. So each floor, as I said to you before, is going to remain the same. The only thing changes on the floors is just where you have the 
the rear porch they are going to turn into a rear balcony and the front porch is going to turn into a front balcony so the balconies on the lower floor is going to turn the the porches on the lower floor is going to turn into balcony on the upper floor but the layout pretty much remain the same so so let me so let me show you now and explain to you some more so when you're on the first floor you can leave through the sliding door here and you can you can go down to the ground floor or you can use these stairs here to go on the third floor and there's another flight of stairs that takes you up to the roof deck i'm going to show you when i'm talking about the staircase separately all right so that constitute the entrance from the ground floor up to the first floor so let me take you through the the, the third floor now or the second floor so the second floor the same thing you come up this staircase here right and you're going to enter through this door here and you're going to access the second floor so in front of the sitting area here you're going to enter through this slide door here onto a front balcony and at the back you're going to enter through this sliding door here to the rear balcony all right similarly similarly the first floor you're going to enter from the sitting slash entertainment era here or you're going to enter out to a front balcony all right so the the second floor or the second floor right you can go up this staircase here and you can go up to the roof deck all right so the roof deck as, as you can see these two rooms here and suit bedroom number two and end suit bedroom number one i put a thatch roof or a slanting roof over those bedrooms because initially i had the entire thing deck but i'm saying to myself that deck has a tendency to give problems where leaking is concerned right and and the next drawback about reinforced concrete deck is that it the, the rate of heat absorption is high and I want to cut down on the energy cost in terms of you know the 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 um the occupant have to install heating and cooling devices to cool down the building all right so that is the reason why I put the the roof over those two bedrooms so just to give the building some more uh, less you know less heat absorption and also to add to the aesthetics of the building all right so the over the staircase here here right i put a skylight here to get some natural light into the building to cut down on energy because this area here is going to be closed off and it's going to be pretty dark so i put a skylight here in the deck right to get some natural light in the building and obviously this portion of the staircase here is elevated above the roof deck all right so there's going to be a separate roof deck over the stairwell area here than the than the slab area the deck area over the building itself all right so another thing i want to point out to you also is that I have also equipped the building with an elevation elevation ele elevation shaft right an elevator shaft so in in the event that you do not want to utilize the stairs to 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 get entrance to the upper floors you can utilize the elevator as well so there are elevator shaft here just there's going to be elevators to take you onto the upper floor above so if you don't want let's see you come in and you have a lot of luggage or you go to the supermarket 
and you do not feel like to climb those stairs going all the way up you can also utilize this staircase to take you onto the first floor and onto the second floor or third floor all right so let me show you what the front of the building looks like so this is the front elevation all right so as you can see here this is the door this door here is the door that leads you onto the roof deck so it's going to be this door here right it's going to be this door here that leads you to the roof deck and before i go back to the um the elevation let me explain to you this the, the staircase at the back so this staircase here you can go up this staircase here and you can enter onto the first floor and you can come through this sliding door here and you can access the 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 um the second floor right also you can utilize the staircase from the upper floor down to the lower floor as well right and you can even utilize it from the second floor right to go down to the the first floor or the ground floor right and there's a stairs here now that takes you all the way up to the roof deck so this staircase here if you notice there's a cut line here right showing you let me zoom up on this a little bit more so you can see the staircase here is cut so this staircase if you see it up so this staircase here you, you come in this area here and you can access the staircase here going all the way up to the roof deck you come through this door here and you're onto the roof deck also there's a second reason why i put that staircase at the back for fire safety all right so if one end in the event of is a fire if one is one if one exit is inaccessible you can use the other exit to exit the building in case if in case if there is an emergency you know a fire or any other disaster that that take place so you can exit the the upper floors through the back stairs here if this area is cut off and vice versa all right and then you still have your your elevator to to utilize as well all right so let me show you again what the the, the front elevation this is a, so this is a front elevation here so this is what the front of the building looks like all right so i've been through a lot with this 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 design um at once i have the entire thing deck right and in another instance i i designed with a timber roof to cover the entire building right but the timber roof you know is gonna cost too much and i do not want you know the building to um to be overly expensive since this building might be you know an investment building for the person one supposed to be designing it for it, it, it can work out too that this building is it turns out to be a building of mine that i might use for myself as well so the building is not really designed particular for anyone so to speak i just sat and designed it up someone give me the idea and i designed it and i was saying to myself no you know i i still can utilize this building for myself so this building doesn't belong to no one per se all right i just want to put that out there right so i said to you before i have designed it with a total deck roof i have designed it with a total timber roof but timber roof is very expensive and that is why i decided you know was to to roof the the two areas there the bed the end suit bedroom number one and end suit bedroom number two on the third floor to give the building a little bit aesthetics all right so this area here at the front here is going to be open to below all right so this is going to be two columns here two rectangular columns and everything is going to be open right up to ceiling height all right so this is my parpet wall here three feet above the the um the, the roof the roof slab era not three feet i think four feet all right so that is what the front elevation looks like so this is what the left or the left side elevation looks like all right and i also put a little texture to it so i 
I think I'm gonna reach out to one of my little friends to do the 3D for me. For me, um, you know, if I can't read, read for myself, but I put a little texture to it too. It put some color on it to see what it, you know, it might look like, what the finished product might look like. So this is what it looks like when I put some colors to it. This might not be the finished color, but I just choose those colors to give the building some texture to see what it might, what the finished product might look like. So I think I'm going to have a 3D rendering of this building. Um, probably not for the next video, but probably the next two to three videos down the line, I might be, you know, have the 3D done for it and see how it looks, you know, how the landscape look, how the parking look and everything to see all the, what the finished product look like. All right. So there is, <laughs> so there's, there I've explained a lot about this building. So let me take you back to the, from the top. So as you can look to, you can look at it. So this is the ground floor here, right? That's the ground floor. This is the first floor. Some people might call it the second floor. All right. So this is the second floor. Some people might call it the third floor. And this is the roof deck plan. All right. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier that I, I you know, I have equipped the, 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 the deck area here with a skylight, right? Just to get some natural light into the stairwell area here to cut down on energy, all right? And this is the front elevation, right? That is what the, that is what the front looks like. And this is what the side view, the left side view looks like, all right? And this is what the texture of the building looks like. I just, you know, as I said before, I just put some colors to this to see what the end product is like, all right? So that is it for this video. If you are watching the video, ensure to watch the video to the end. If you're a first time viewer, ensure to subscribe, watch the ads as well, right? And share the video. And if you like, it, you like this design, my email and my WhatsApp number is going to be in the description. If you want something like this, I am more, I will be more than happy to do business with you and I can design this structure for you. All right. So, that is it and I will catch you in another video.